Turning to your health headlines, it's talked about as a thing to avoid, but cholesterol also plays a necessary part of the human makeup, and there is such a thing as good cholesterol. Dr. Mitchell Goldman with UCSD is here with us now uh, talking about the myths about cholesterol. Thank you for being here, Dr. G. It's good to be here. Let's start with the basics. What is cholesterol and why should I care? Well, cholesterol is basically a type of a fat that circulates through our body, and unlike what people think, it just doesn't cause coronary artery disease. It also helps our immune system, it helps to make hormones, it helps our nervous system. So cholesterol is not all bad. Now you know there's two kinds of cholesterol. There's the HDL, I like to call that healthy cholesterol, and the LDL, which is the unhealthy. And so as long as your HDL is elevated, everything is going to be fine. And the only way to know that is a blood test, I would assume. Yes, and blood tests are routinely done, and the CDC recommends that blood tests are done every five years just to make sure your cholesterol is in check. Because if you do have high amounts of LDL, or the unhealthy cholesterol, you are at risk for heart disease. But what we have know now as physicians is you don't have to limit the good cholesterol. And so eggs, which many people thought, oh, you have to have egg whites, right. you can't eat the yellow part of the eggs, the, o the yolk, that actually is totally wrong because eggs have so many benefits. They can protect your eyesight, they can protect bone health, they are filled with vitamins, um, and they are actually help you raise your healthy cholesterol or HDL. And so studies have shown that if you eat three eggs a day, you are not going to raise your unhealthy cholesterol. All right, so you debunk the egg myth then. What about the other foods that negatively impact our, our blood cholesterol levels then? Yeah, absolutely, Kathleen. It's the trans fats that are bad. So when you eat eggs, you really shouldn't be eating the bacon with the eggs because the animal fats are not good. Hamburger fats, not good. So those are fats that aren't good. Lean meats are really good and the healthy fats are good. So health fats that are found in nuts, for instance, are very good for you. So eggs are good, nuts are good, <laughs> red fatty meat, not good. It's, it's what we almost say all the time. Well, but, and it's not just diet that can lower your blood cholesterol, right, if it's high? It's exercise too. And so as we say every week, you know, exercise is so good because exercise will raise your H DL or the healthy cholesterol, and that basically counteracts things. Now, every week we talk about losing weight, quitting smoking, eating the low fat diet in saturated and trans fats. And those are the things that we're going to say every single Tuesday until I don't say things anymore, because that's, right. that, that's the way we can improve not only our heart health, but also decrease the risk of cancer, keep our bones strong, keep our skin looking good and our eyesight good as well. All right, go scramble those eggs and enjoy your <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> the prescription tonight. Thank you so much, Dr. G, for clearing that up. Always good to be here.